What's up, gang? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Brittany. We are back with another vlog. So, you guys, we're about to cook some dinner. It's baby. Milk. That little bit of cereal, truth? You don't make me put milk in this little bit of this little bit of cereal that he got. I'm gonna go change y'all. I just came in here, just got home, took out my stuff that I need, and get my water boiling for my noodles. So we're gonna make some creamy chicken shrimp and sausage pasta let's get into it all right you guys i am back and changed so today like i told y'all we're gonna make us some little pasta we're doing um a panay pasta with chicken shrimp and sausage up in there okay i took my chicken and my um shrimp out this morning and i really didn't know what i was gonna make and then at some point today i just like Let's make a little pasta dish, okay? Let's make a little pasta dish. I was trying to think what I had in my kitchen, what I still need to go get. So your girl did just go to Publix after I got off. And it's, I feel like there's no reason I should have spent $44 because I literally bought heavy whipping cream, store brand, cream cheese, store brand. I bought my seasoning, the seasonings, seasonings are way too expensive. I bought onion powder, some Creole season because baby, I didn't see no Slap Your Mama up in Publix. The Publix not sell Slap Your Mama, let me know. I mean, I got this, so it's gonna work, but yeah. Some Tony's, garlic powder, Old Bay. I'm not none of this focusing, but hopefully y'all are familiar with the, um, y'all hear me and then y'all, yeah, you know. I got some tomatoes. I thought I, I probably already have some, but I bought some more diced tomatoes. I bought some Parmesan cheese here. And other than that, y'all, I bought a bottle of wine and some garlic bread. That's literally all I bought. And I spent like $44 and change. We're going to run the thing with the $50. I'm just playing. About $45, okay? So, yeah. We're about to go ahead and cook. Like I said, I'm using some panay. I hope this is enough. Hope this is enough. Um, So, first, we're going to start off with our... What do we want to start with? We're going to start with our sausage. We're going to do our sausage first. Let that cook, and then we're going to do the chicken. Maybe I should do, because honey, it's not like it's too much cooking time right now. I need to do those two in separate pans so that we can make this a little quicker. We're not going to let the sausage cook all the way in and the chicken cook all the way. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and um, cook those in separate pans. I'll let my noodles boil. And then, of course, we can do the shrimp last, okay? So it's going to be a really simple eat simple and easy recipe so y'all just follow along my house get a little loud my baby's in there doing homework with dad right now so they good for now but i might be doing some voiceovers on this because my house get crazy okay or y'all don't listen to some music but other than that y'all if i need to explain something i will definitely do that but let's get into it all right, y'all. So we starting with some chicken tenderloins. Your girl I ain't feel like cutting up no chicken really high high. This is what I took out. I know I was using chicken tenderloins because yeah, I ain't feel like cutting up no chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and season them. You know, season them pretty good. We got the Tony seasoning. You know, we basically just gonna use all the seasonings that I just bought. That's the garlic powder, and then you know we gonna go in with the onion powder, and lastly a little bit of that obey. Uh, that's enough. <laughs> Get out a mix, mix that up all good. Once you got that all good and soaked up in there, you need to make sure you go ahead and go ahead over to the sink and wash your hands, okay? Then we're gonna go over to the skillet. We're gonna put down a little bit of thing up some vegetable oil. We just put down a little vegetable oil before we put our chicken in. We're just layering them in the pan as you all can see here. Okay, so the sausage that we are using today is the Johnsonville and Zuli smoked sausage. I did find this in Kroger. Okay, remember that. You didn't come this far just to come this far. Yep. I saw it on the internet. <laughs> I don't really know how to confess my love. Really seem like I want to test my love. Express my love, that's why I'm American. 
I went ahead and added some grease, a little bit of oil, a little bit of oil to the pan that I'm going to use for the sausages. We're going to throw them things up in there and basically we're going to let them cook, okay? Give them a shake, get them all flat, even layered, all that good stuff. About to go ahead and salt our water for our pasta. Y'all thought it wasn't gonna be enough, but ooh, it worked out. I'm gonna go ahead and give our chicken a flip. All right, y'all, so now it's time to cut up the veggies. We are going to go in with half of a yellow onion. We're going to get that thing up chopped. We're going to cut them like, you know, like the spaghetti chunks. You know, you don't want them too big, but they're not like extra mini and dice. You know, nice little, nice little bite-sized little chunks. <laughs> we're going to cut them like that. And then we're going to go in with our little pepper corker there that I got from Timu. Hey, Timu. Um, and we are going to remove the seeds first and cut that up in the same type fashion for the most part, more or less, more or less. It is now time to remove the meat. They are both cooked completely. We're going to take our sausages off as well as our chicken. And then we are going to start on the next phase, which will be the shrimp and the sauce. Let's get into it. All right, so we're going to use the same skillet that we did the sausage in. We're just going to add a little bit of butter to that pan. And then we are going to go in with the onions and bell peppers that we just cut up, as well as some minced garlic. Your girl ain't feel like chopping no garlic today, so minced garlic it is out the jar. Okay. Give it a good little mix. We're basically gonna let this cook, you know, cook down a little bit. So I knew I had two cans of Rotel, but I'm just gonna go with the one that I already had, which is the original. Now it is time to prep the shrimp. We're gonna go in with some Old Bay, some onion powder, some garlic powder, you know, same old, same old. Okay, so right here I am seasoning up the veggies. This is a Cajun pasta so we got to make it all occasionally like add a little bit of butter to the same skillet that we cooked the chicken in so that we can now cook our shrimp all right y'all so you already know when you finna make some type of cream sauce you gotta use the heavy whipping cream so that is what i got here adding that to the veggies and then we're gonna go in oh i needed a little bit more my bad <laughs> need a little bit more I had to open up a new bottle then we're gonna go in with some chicken broth just a little bit just a little bit we're gonna go in with just a little bit of cream cheese y'all i'm not a measurer at all so don't ask me measurements just kind of look and see and then we are using some better than bouillon chicken flavor in there get it all a good mix so y'all my kids was really really requesting for me to make them that orange kool-aid they went crazy with the first one i made if you watch my other vlog but Today I'm going to make some orange Kool-Aid for them, so that is what I'm doing here. I am now going in with some more of that Creole seasoning on top of the sauce that we have made here. Get a good mix, let everything get all merry with each other. 
All right, y'all. So the bread choice for tonight are the garlic knots. So we're gonna go ahead and put them on a tray so they can be ready to go in the oven. Once your noodles are done and drained, we are going to go ahead and add that to the sauce. See, it still don't look like much. I was still kind of worried, but you know how pasta is. Pasta really does stretch. It's one of those meals where you know you're gonna have leftovers. <laughs> so we're just gonna add that to the sauce. We wanna just make sure we coat all the pasta with some of that sauce. We want this to be a saucy saucy pasta i don't like dry pasta i don't know about y'all but i don't like dry pasta so i'm trying to make sure every little piece of this pasta is saucy and we got some little extras put the drizzle on top afterwards now we are going to add a little of that grated parmesan cheese to it you know just to give it a little cheese effect we're doing mostly creamy we're not really doing cheesy but we got the cream factors you know we had the cream cheese we had the heavy whipping cream like we're making it creamy okay we're going to add a little bit of cheese in there. All right, here. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm dragging it. Right now, I'm pulling out some chicken, some of the chicken tenderloins, and I'm going to cut those into some little cubes. These are going to be the pieces of chicken that we're going to put on um, inside of the pasta. And you know we got to save some to put on top to make it all cute and everything for presentation. So now we are adding the meat to the pasta. We're going to add our sausage, our chicken, and even our shrimp on up in there. Look at them shrimp. Look at them. Look at them. Making all good and whatnot. I really wanted to taste one, but I ain't put, I ain't cooked that many, so I ain't want to be greedy like that. But yeah, they look good. I did taste the chicken on the chicken was busting. Ten out of ten, recommend. Go ahead and give that a little mix up, y'all. Get everything. Oh, looking all. Mm, mm, mm. This is some meaty pasta. This is really some meaty pasta. Like, oh, look at it. <laughs> look at it. Look at it. <laughs> all right y'all so now we are back to the kool-aid um first of all mind your business if you're looking at my back and wondering why my back is back in and you know all big and stuff at the top it's because i got on a, some um shaper wear yeah i got on some shaper wear um type of shorts and so you know when you when you're trying to suck everything else in everything just push up to the top that's what's going on right now the up the upper is not really that big but it's, it's looking kind of kind of wide back right now it is don't don't mind that stop looking at it i'm just making kool-aid okay right here y'all i'm just gonna try to hear the audio because that thing is smacking you know your food gonna be nice and creamy and all that good stuff and it's smacking so just listen to the smacking all right you guys dinner was a 10 out of 10 would definitely for sure recommend okay right now i'm putting up some leftovers anything like some leftovers okay y'all the leftovers have been coming in handy this week okay we done had leftovers every night from the damn what we had what's today what's today wednesday so we done had roast one day well we had first of all we had lunch on sunday which was the kebabs and then we had lunch on monday which was the roast and then we had lunch for tuesday which was spaghetti and now we got lunch from wednesday which is the creamy cajun pasta okay like we got the leftovers okay like all these meals this week have definitely been i would say budget friendly and like they stretch they stretch you can get meals out of it That's definitely been a plus. Definitely been a plus.
yeah i'm just wrapping these plates up and then i'm about to go take my shower your girl is tired been a long day long day no today was a good day though it was working on my wednesday so you know we was in our bag you know we were trying to be in our bed today getting work done getting things accomplished this is irritating me trying to scoop these damn things out like this let me get my darn spoon and just pull it in now anybody got time for all this? 